Hi, Aquarius. I hope you're doing well. My name is Genevieve. This is A Touch of Tarot. Thank you for joining for your reading. And we're going to see what's coming up. I have a card flipped over. I am going to switch that up first. Um, but that was the Palace of Swords. So the Palace of Swords for a description, it has to do kind of with the real estate descriptions. Like, for example, the Cups has to do with a waterfront property. The Wands have to do with like a beautiful sunset. I'm not quite sure what the heck the real estate version would be for swords and i forget what the definition is that they gave me probably a very windy place that's high up but you have the four of wands as your first card so this is very interesting aquarius um there's something coming to you there's a door opening there's an opportunity it could have to do with love this could be something you're waiting for um, but i just feel like the door is finally opening. It's like as if you wanted something so bad and you finally see the light that it can happen. And what does this have to do with for Aquarius? Please let us know. Well, it's definitely something that was causing you a lot of confusion. A lot. But this is going to be leading to happiness. What I also get, Aquarius, is that you would have to walk away from the confusion to get to your happiness. So this could be leaving people behind from what I'm seeing. Um, this is something that is not easy to do from what I'm getting. But this leads to an abundance in love, joy, happiness, health. Like It's all around great for you. It's not just good. It's great. Now, you've been debating making this decision. This may have to do with you going back to a situation. Um, what am I seeing here? Give me a second. So you're, you've made a decision, though. I'm going to say that you've made a decision. It can involve someone you've left or someone you plan to leave that you've had toxic ties to. We need more. We need more. What's going on with Aquarius? Like you've made some sort of a decision. You know what you want now. It may involve a separation. It may involve an actual uh, physical separation that you may have been avoiding. I think this is someone you actually lived with um, that you've made the decision to leave. But what is the difficulty here for Aquarius? Let's just see. Well, you're really in your head about this. Why? why very bizarre uh i'm getting you don't want to be the bad guy you don't want to be the mean guy you don't want to be the one to end a situation that is not even fulfilling or pleasing anymore you don't want to be the bad guy what would make you the bad guy because i feel like you have everything that you technically need um, but you feel that leaving a home situation and you probably have to go through some legalities would make you the bad guy. So what is the hermit about? I think you've just been hanging on to how you truly feel, um, possibly even investing in the situation you are in, even though there's somewhere else you want to be. Um, this situation is over. You're very aware of it, Aquarius. Okay, tell us more about the situation. Like. The high priestess, so, and the emperor came out, okay? So these are two very similar energies here, but also not at the same time. The high priestess is definitely um, even a little bit of a, a dark energy, but not that you're dark. I feel that you're very knowing. You're very um, in tune with what's happening in your life. And there's even things you've kept secret from here. And it could be literally that you always knew that this was not where you were supposed to be or that you and this person are so different. Um, there's something, there's difference here, right? Like I'm not seeing your person being bad. I do actually see them being golden like you know having that that golden energy to them with this card here like they're able to provide stability this person uh, let's see what else we have here yeah this person is able to provide stability okay um i'm seeing the ace of ace of wands at the bottom i kind of wanted to pick up a little more on that 
But I do feel that this person could have at times either made promise. Sorry, guys. What the heck? Okay. Sorry about that. So even though you may have had a beautiful home in partnership with this person, and you did, from what I see, but you're both two different people on two different pages type of an energy here. Like the King of Cups and the Five of Coins, this person uh, was more worried about being protective and having a good home energy than love. This is my card. This person, like, they can't even talk about love, to be honest. Um, this person did feel a definite, a definite great connection with you. But I feel like this person you're possibly dealing with, I'm just going to say, it's like it was their main goal to make sure no one's homeless, to make sure no one has to worry about food. Um, and I do feel like this person possibly had partnerships elsewhere, okay? And it probably wasn't new partnerships. I feel like this person was going back around to other situations or to another person that they already knew is what I'm getting here. Okay, let's see. We have a Queen of Cups there and a King of Swords, I see. Um, but I'm just seeing the death card and the world card and the sun card. So I just kind of feel like this person, they were being deceptive, but I, I'm telling you, I feel like this person was going back to someone. So I don't think they were out there meeting new people. I think this person either had an ongoing affair or they went or at some time were going back to someone that they already had feelings for, the Eight of Wands, right? Um, it's interesting, I feel like, you know, whatever happened with this person, um, with the other person, that it maybe wasn't the happiest situation. Why? Why wasn't it that? I'm sorry, Aquarius, this is getting into the message of your person because your person couldn't be where they wanted to be Aquarius whether this person had a uh, genuine love or just very attracted sexually to the other person I'm just getting that you know it really upset them that they couldn't be there and I do feel like your person has an issue with love so I think it was more passionate but this person has a strong connection somewhere okay so let's go back to you Aquarius where are you going what's happening here king of coins and the moon card. So I feel like you have, you know, someone who you too want to be around or be near. Um, this could be someone who's very loyal. This could be someone who has their eye on you. This could be someone who is doing very well. This is someone who's honest with you. Okay. Um, and they probably told you, hey, this has broken my heart. Not being with you has broken my heart. Um, you know, I want I want you back. I want to invest in you or I want to reconnect. Um, can we do this type of energy, okay? So that's what's happening. Let's get one more for you, Aquarius, for this person that it looks like you're going... Like, it's weird, you know, possibly, you know, you have to make a choice here. You have to make a choice and it's calling on you to have faith that where you put your energy, um, it can work. And I do actually see you going back to someone that you probably have a connection with already. And I do see it being very, very good, really. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. Um, I'll pull, I don't, I mean, I really, okay, we'll pull, I am getting guided to pull for the extended. So we'll move on to the extended Aquarius. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. Sorry about Aquarius. So let's get into the extended um, for you and for this person you're dealing with. So, okay, what's going to happen with Aquarius going to this four of wands energy um, it really is going back to someone, but you actually will have to leave 
what I get is actually a one-sided situation, but it's possibly a lot of memories, a lot of accomplishments, a lot that you have built with someone. You would have to leave Queen of Swords, literally Aquarius, your energy at the top. Hmm. So why is that so difficult? Well, obviously you've built a lot with them, right? The Three of Wands. It's kind of like you'd have to say goodbye to so much with the Three of Swords here. And it wouldn't be the easiest thing. It would actually even take a lot of... Okay, Aquarius. I hope you got a message here. I'm going to cut this one short. Um, it will be heartbreaking for you to leave the situation. And what about going to the other person? Well, if you were to go to the other person where you want to go, Knight of Wands, in uh, reverse, which would be like picking that choice, making that choice and staying there, it would be for long term. It would be till death do you part. It may even be like someone you end up marrying. I'm seeing the um, queen energy there, right? And here we have that four of wands again. This could be your flame. This could be someone from childhood um, that you're going back to. That's interesting. So in the one situation, if you stay, well, you're not going to stay there by the looks of it. You are going to leave, but it's going to be hard. And the person you're going towards is actually going to be like a solid situation that is going to bring you happiness. And that's what the message was, that literally you would have happiness, but you would have to walk away and look what it is. It's the walk away card. And that is the card that was on my mind when I was seeing these cards. So you'd have to prepare yourself and walk away to go for that. But one door closes, another door opens. And by the looks of it, ooh, you got the Palace of Wands. And look at here you are, Aquarius. This is a dream um, outcome for real estate because these palaces represent the real estate description. This is about having the most beautiful sunsets and the most beautiful sunrises uh, being in the heat and just being so happy and, you know, it's it's pretty much very romantic um, and you're sticking out double here, okay? And this is telling me, like, you're going to be making that move, Aquarius, and I wish you all the best because this is like a dream, this Four of Wands, where you're going to this person, like maybe you knew this person since you were a baby or something or a very small kid. But it's beautiful, whatever it is, right? Let me just get one more card. You got another palace. So um, this is like the waterfront energy, uh, everything you want, boats, theme parks, everything beautiful and lovely. Um, so this person you're going to see or be with, I mean, it could be literally like that fire and ice energy, like everything in one. You're going to have everything you want. Not only are you going to have like the, the waterfront property, you're going to have the most beautiful sunsets ever. Um, and that's relevant too, right? Because even the situation you're leaving is bittersweet, but you're not going to let that pass you. You're going to go. Okay, Aquarius, so sorry about the disruptions. I'm never going to be able to edit all of that. So you're going to get a choppy video, but bye for now. Thank you.